Uh, I think that one of the best uh, aspects of trilateral cooperation for grassland conservation is that we're really facing very similar issues uh, in the grasslands both in Canada, Mexico, and the U.S. and we have we share a very similar history of the grasslands as well and uh, it's uh, the culture of the people who live in, in the grasslands is also shared by the three countries so it only makes sense that as conservation is trying to find solutions for the loss of grasslands, which is affecting all three countries, that we work at this scale and coordinate our actions and learn from each other uh, at, at a trilateral scale. Uh, I think that one of the best uh, aspects of trilateral cooperation for grassland conservation is that we're really facing very similar issues uh, in the grasslands, both in Canada, Mexico, and the U.S., and we, have, we share a very similar history of the grasslands as well. And uh, it's uh, the culture of the people who live in, in the grasslands is also shared by the three countries. So it only makes sense that as conservation is trying to find solutions for the loss of grasslands, which is affecting all three countries, that we work at this scale and coordinate our actions and learn from each other uh, at, at a trilateral scale. One of the best opportunities we have for reversing the trend in grassland loss and degradation is to work together with the, the ranchers and the producers who own and manage the grasslands and find compatible areas between conservation and management, which are really not few and far between. There's, there's a lot of uh, overlap between conservation goals and management goals from a, from a production standpoint. So what's healthy grasslands for birds is a healthy grasslands for all of us, really, including the, the rancher. One of the main benefits for the Rocky Mountain Bird Observatory in participating in this trilateral initiative is that it connects us to people working on the same issues in other parts of the grasslands, these shared grasslands. So, um, and, and notwithstanding also the um, the additional funding we've been able to receive from the CEC has helped fill very important gaps in, in our research and conservation programs and added value uh, to those programs, particularly in the development of uh, educational materials and outreach materials that we can share. And uh, we've made these in two languages. Uh, and, and so our participation in, in, the, in the CEC initiative uh, has played out in a number of respects.